black people, our identities are caught up in being a victim. Mm -hmm. That's the highest level of blackness, being a victim. And uh, other than being a victim, the other way to show that, hey, I'm really black and I'm leaning into my black identity is, again, I don't know, you can't relate to it because you didn't grow up here in America. Mm -hmm. But the thing you can do, particularly if you've had some success and maybe you came from the hood, but if I can litter my conversation with the Mm -hmm. N-word, I feel authentically black and I haven't sold out. And so that's, they've tapped into into that. And so I'm wondering as a uh, dark skinned person from another country, Mm -hmm. what do you think about the victimhood culture that we have going on here in America? I don't like it. Um, It's something I speak out against a lot. And it's, um, it, it, man, this is, this, this is so deep. Um, it's, it's a big problem. I mean, I have a theory that this is the, you know, if people want to talk about institutional and systemic racism persisting in the modern era, like, this is, this is it. This is it. It's, it's telling black people, black Americans in particular, that they are somehow lesser than. And it's not being told that explicitly, but okay, we're talking about music. If an artist of any other race or ethnicity made a song explicitly talking about killing people of their own race or ethnicity, if a Chinese rapper or a Jewish, if a Jewish rapper made a song about killing Jewish people or a white rapper made a song about killing white people, people would be like, what's wrong with this person? He's insane, but people have become so and they do numb. Something about people it, have become so numb over the decades about black people rapping about killing other black people that this question is not even asked. It's just it's just assumed by everyone. Oh, yeah, that, that's that's just normal. It's, there's there's no there's no shock value, and at the same time, people are there, you know, saying you know Black Lives Matter or you know we need to treat each other better or other people need to treat us better and so on. And it's like, man, so much of this problem is internal. And when you hold that mirror up, I mean, as an outsider, it's even worse. But if that mirror is held up, it makes people so uncomfortable and they, they, they lash out. And it's, it's, such a huge, it's such a huge shame because you know that if that mentality is rejected and people don't see themselves as lesser than and don't assume that everyone else around them is trying to put the boot down on them and hold them down and so on, and they can go on and achieve incredible greatness. I mean, in the United States of America, and, and maybe one issue is that, sadly, Americans don't travel internationally very much. And so the, the worldview is so, so insular and so focused on the US past and present that people lack both perspective and gratitude. This doesn't just apply to black Americans, it applies to, I think, Americans in general, but people don't realize just, like if you are in the USA, and you're an American in, in 2022, regardless of your, your skin color, gender, sexuality, whatever, like the amount of opportunity in this country, like I can guarantee you no one is oppressing you more than you're oppressing yourself. Guaranteed. People, people, don't, care enough, people don't care to oppress you, right? Like no one is gonna be like, oh, this guy's black, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna st-. It's, not, it's not 1920, right? It's 2022. So when people are still grasping onto this so desperately and making it their whole identity, it's like, man, that's what's holding that person back. That is the problem. And it makes me sad to see this on a, on a daily basis. I see it on social media all the time. I'm hearing it and what people are saying and so on. And it's just like, man, when are, and unfortunately it's, it, there's an industry around it as well, which makes it even worse. There's this whole grievance industrial complex where they want to lock people into this way of thinking. Even, even, even if they become incredibly successful, it's like you're, you're still supposed to have this type of mentality. And ultimately, it's, it's destructive. Ultimately, it's destructive. And um, I know that there are you know, some black Americans out there who don't like me speaking on this as like a, a British person. You know, People don't want to hear criticism from an outsider or something like that. But the only reason that criticism even exists is because I want to see people do well. I don't like to see people oppressing themselves and holding themselves down. I like to see people achieve potential and achieve greatness. 
So any type of criticism is more like holding up a mirror going, oh look, like maybe this thing, you can sort out this thing yourself. It can't be sorted out externally. Not everything can be fixed in externally if it's an internal problem. And yes, history can be acknowledged and should be, and people should know history and why certain things are the way they are and so on, but it's like, you can't drive a car with your head stuck backwards, right? You have to look, you have to look forward. You can check the side mirrors and check behind you occasionally to you know, orient yourself, but you've, you've, you've got to focus on forward, because you, you can't change history, not on a nation level, not on an individual level, not on a group level. History is history. There's so many things in history I wish, I wish we could press a button and go back and change and make it so that something never happened. But in the here and now, all you can do is make choices and do things that are gonna move you forward. So that's a core part of my message. Um, I think that particularly resonates with certain people, but honestly, people across the board, that's really one of my core messages. And I, I don't like to see black Americans or black people in general, anyone in general, being you know emotionally manipulated or being used as a political football, which you see all the time, um, and you know just having their feelings used against them, essentially. Yeah.